Can you tell us what we should be careful of? Aliens are here. I'm standing directly where an alien sighting occurred on the 1st of January that took the internet by storm. Now to our number one trending story on CBSMiami.com. It involves talk of alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. On New Year's Day, there was a massive police response in downtown Miami. So now people are posting online saying that police weren't there to handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather eight to 10 feet tall, shadowy aliens conspiracy theories are saying a big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area bayside today with well, the statement said that there was fighting going on between teens i think that's a little bit overkill for that much police to be in an area i don't mean to cut you off i thought i saw a light up there i think there may i don't know what that is up there bro that's a camera hold on there's a freaking camera. I knew that was a camera. Wait. It's that... right behind that torch. Wait, 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 Omar. If that's a camera, and the alien sighting happened right here. Where's that footage? And the police were so quick to say, no, that was just three police officers walking by one another. Well, why you know, you know another thing? That footage? There was like 10 cop cars right, right here. Right here, right in this. Where's the their papers? footage? You know how all cops have cameras on their dash? Not only that, but body cam footage, everything. There's just, that's, that's the red flags we're talking about. See, I just flew in from New York about an hour ago. And me and Omar came directly here. And we were like, we're going to be investigating here tonight, tomorrow night, however long it takes to try to get as much answers as we can. We're going to be talking to sto store owners, security, whoever we possibly can to see if we can get any footage that hasn't been posted on the internet and get some answers that's what we really want now not only that but i have new footage from new witnesses that came out and new footage that was shown from the original night january 1st that shows different angles of what possibly was the aliens here now omar we talked about it a little bit earlier but you know that one clip that was kind of like from the air recorded here it right. would have to be from one of these buildings right i think it was from this building from that building. Okay. Well, this is probably more than likely, I'm about 85% positive that that's where the footage of this alien sighting, like, and the cop cars. What if we tried to there. recreate, like, the, not the, it, exactly the angle, but what if we got, like, on a high ground to see if maybe we could get the same kind of shot? That way we can determine, maybe on a better note, what was there. I don't know. It's a long shot. I like shot. that. Long shot. I like um, that idea. Now, before we go on investigating, I just want to come out and say that we are just coming out here to get answers. We're not out here saying, you know, this is 100% real, although we do believe in it. But, you know, it's better to come out here and get the answers for ourselves rather than just wondering and pondering back home. So I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. Do you believe in aliens? What do you think about this entire Miami Mall alien situation from start to finish? What do you think about the witness statements? Whatever information you got, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to Omar's channel. The link to that will be down in the description below as well because he's going to be dropping his own videos. He's already dropped one, so make sure to go watch that as well. But we'll be coming back in the daytime, covering as many bases as we can. So with that being said, guys, we'll see you on the inside of Bayside Marketplace. Me and my brother were there in Miami, and it's so crazy that you guys don't believe in that but we saw 12 goddamn foot aliens no lie and what happened when my brother tried to record everything turned off a lot of explosion that's what there was a lot of everybody, everybody run all you seen was a bunch of little 14 year old like 15 year old fuck kids out of here bro like running bro like come on bro yeah and then immediately said, go, go, everything like, turned off turned everything an turned off and so that's what i saw bro yeah I that's why saw. nobody has any of that footage that you guys are wondering why you didn't get the footage because as soon as ev you, everything turned off as soon as you saw that creature Everything turned off. I seen off. a man on stilts. That wasn't no fucking man on stilts. Nah, it wasn't no man on stilts. stilts. How do you have a man on stilts when it was a shadow creature? Nah, Get the dog, fuck that out of here. was moving. Like it, nah, dog. And they're going to take it down soon. So This Miami Mall alien situation is starting to get out of hand. There are too many questions that are left unanswered that are driving people nuts. And I fear that this is going to be another one of those situations that gets swept under the rug and you never hear from it again. And listen, guys, there are two 
many red flags. I mean, let's start with the footage. You're telling me that out of all of the stores that were in this mall, or the mall in general, doesn't have any CCTV footage that they wanna drop from that night, just to kind of calm this mass hysteria down. And then you wanna tell us that the only footage available is from a select number of people out of the massive amount of people that were there that night, and the footage that is available is shaky, blurry, grainy, you can't really see anything. It's 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone has one of these iPhones, Androids, great cameras on them. Even if they had iPhone 6s, it would be way better resolution than the videos that we were presented from this night. Things aren't making sense. Then we'll get into the amount of police that were dispatched that night. There were about 75 to 100 police cruisers circling this mall. I want to also mention that the police stated that it was teens fighting with fireworks, right? If that is in question, then why were there no fire trucks? Why are there no fire safety measures taken? right? If it's fireworks, you're going to assume things along those lines, right? But no, just 75 to 100 police cruisers. There are too many red flags. I just listened to a police statement and he said this. So I can confirm to you all here today right now that there are no aliens in Miami in Bayside Marketplace at the moment. At the moment? What do you mean at the moment? See, things like this, this is what drives people crazy with these types of situations. Now, I don't want to be that guy that sits there with his tinfoil hat and starts just, you know, assuming the worst and starts conspiring about aliens and this and that. But there are a lot of red flags here that are definitely being ignored. And once again, is just kind of driving people in this craze. What do you think, bro? I, it's crazy. We're legit like the only ones here. This is Bayside Marketplace. So there was this graffiti artist and he was upstairs in this area right here. And we have the video footage right here that we'll share with you, but he's looking down from the balcony and he sees these kids kind of messing around with like this, it almost looked like a laptop or maybe like a DVD player, you know, those old school DVD players with the screen. And he's kind of like, you know, hey, check this out or whatever, like plug it up. I don't know what they plugged it into, there's a freaking plug right here. Oh my right God, here. you're right. This is the exact area. Dude, there's a freaking plug right here. I, look, I shit you not. We had no idea. I, <laughs> I was just looking around for a plug yeah. and I mean, it was. I said, Omar, take me to the area where the guy claimed to have seen that. I don't know if it was this exact area, but I know that it was either like on that end or this end. I mean, it, it couldn't have been far. Right. But this is the only area where there's a second floor balcony that describes that guy's story to the T. So there is a plug right there. I do see a plug right over there too. So there's a couple plugs that they could have plugged into this whatever device, but this ring starts appearing and this guy sees like, it almost looks like a foot or like a arm come out of this portal. And it was kind of like glitching out and stuff. And that's when everybody started running and creating like all this chaos. So, I mean, that's, that's the story that that he shared with us, I'm pretty convinced it sounded sounded pretty legit to me. But it's not to say that there weren't kids shooting off fireworks here too. It, that did happen. There's some video footage of that. But where is the video footage like from the cameras? I mean, there's cameras Everywhere. all over this mall. Everywhere. Like if fireworks were going off or whatever was happening here and there was all this crazy chaos, like where is the video footage from in here? Haven't seen any of that. Nope. Not from anybody's phones. No body cam footage. No body cam footage from police officers. And certainly no footage from these stores here. We're gonna try to come back tomorrow and ask some of these store owners if they have some footage. And even if they say, oh, we're not allowed to whatever, I think that'd be great to hear that too. Yeah. We're gonna have them on a hidden camera. So, yeah, we got sunglasses with a camera on them. So I got them in my pocket. Yes. Look, check it out. If I could pull it out. That's what he said. Bam. Look at that. So, Sick. I mean, at first glance, you just think these are sunglasses. Yep. I mean, I could even wear them right now at nighttime. We're in Florida. You know, the sun's always shining. You can't even see the lens. No. So, I mean, you could literally be in someone's face and be like, hey, so what'd you see on the first? We spoke to a security officer a little bit ago, and, like, he was, he did not want to be on camera. We were like, you know, hey, would you be on camera and tell us? He was like, there's no aliens. And like he wouldn't. We're like, would you mind saying that to clear things up on the internet? He's like, yeah, he no. didn't want to. He just walked away. Crazy. Like, right. well, yeah. Like, yeah. why not clear it up? We're trying to give the, trying to give you all the truth. 
So what we're trying to do, like, we're, we're not here saying that, you know, all this alien stuff's real. I mean, we do believe in it. Don't get me wrong. But I believe in aliens. We do. But we would love to clear some things up. There's too many red flags to ignore, guys. It's but real. like I was saying, make sure to subscribe because we will be dropping videos every couple of days about this scenario. And um, you don't want to miss those videos. We want to get as much information as we can. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be new stuff pop popping up on the Internet, new stuff popping up around here. If it happens around here, I mean, we're going to find out and we're going to let you know firsthand. Right. So I'm going to go ahead right now. I'm going to play that footage for you that Omar was talking about where the guy drew up what he saw. So take a look at that. Well, um, I just got back from Miami like, this morning. And I was over there when all that shit went down at the mall. This, this is what happened. This, this is, this is what happened. This is what I, I, I'll draw you what can happen. This is what happened. Okay. There was a whole bunch of, there was a whole bunch of, you know, teens, right? You know, a whole bunch of, whole bunch of teens, a whole bunch of teens. And they had this little, they had this little fucking box, like a little DVD player type thing, right? And they were like, yeah, watch, watch, go ahead. And there was a whole bunch of them. But they look all nerdy. They weren't like thugged out. They were, I mean, they all dressed nice and shit or whatever, but you know, they were just right there, combo and shit. And a lot of them had like backpacks and some of them had like weird dad's glasses, like, like, like welding glasses. And I was like, what the fuck? And the other guy was like, just go ahead and plug it in. I mean, we're right here. We're safe, you know? And, and, and so somebody plugged this shit in and it started, started flickering started flickering right because there was a column right here you know i was over here on the top i was up here on the top of the level they were down here and i was watching them from over here okay so this just started flickering and it was flicking the rows of lights right here all these lights were flickering then it started popping when it started popping everybody from over here started running this way to see because everybody was nosy and as soon as it started popping, this thing started glowing and it started going like, like a, like a force field. Woo, 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 woo. And everybody that was behind this that I was seeing, everybody looked like this. Like, like digital. Like it was being disruptive by the wave. Only right here. Not right here. Everything else was still flickering. Right here was still popping. People were running. As soon as they got close and they see how this thing was moving, everybody started going this way. When they started going this way, these guys started backing up because from this, it started glowing and it looked like somebody put a foot out like that. And then somebody put a hand out like that. And then all you see was this. All you see was like, this, an image like that, that's all I seen. This was all glowing, so it was bright. This was the only, the dark thing that I thought I seen come out. It looked like that. That's what came out. I was right here looking. It was me and four other dudes. Two other guys ran over here and started filming. I'm waiting for them to give me the footage. But they say they got this thing coming out and it looked, it didn't look like somebody. It looked more like the end, everything got disrupted and was all wavy and it, and it did that effect. That's what it looked like to me. I, I don't know. I, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think was going on? Do you think maybe there was some, something bigger going on? Do you think maybe it was a cover up? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm genuinely curious. However, now we're going to go on into this video and I really want to talk about this witness statement first. So I'm going to put this on the screen right now and we'll listen to this thing full on through. It's pretty long, but I'll pause it here and there whenever I want to chime in on something. So, um, so basically what happened was I was there with my brother Brian, uh, and my sister and my nephew. We were looking for shoes uh, for my nephew. And then we see a whole crowd of people outside the store um, just running out in a direction. So. You know, as soon as we saw it, we uh, we were like, oh, oh, shit, you know, what's going on? So we immediately ran out with our nephew and, um, and we picked him up and we ran out and we followed the crowd. Uh, and then about like a, a, a few seconds later, as soon as we started running, uh, my nephew, he's autistic. So he was pointing behind us and he was saying blanky, which he'll usually say whenever he feels unsafe or scared. Um, and he was pointing behind us. So me and my brother, we look behind us and then we see these three, nine, 10 foot tall creatures. I'm not gonna say aliens. Uh, everyone keeps saying it's aliens. 
I'm not saying aliens because I don't know what it was. Uh, none of us really knew everyone. All of us stopped in our track. We, you know, a whole bunch of people were pointing at it. Uh, I mean, there were other people running. Um, you know, there was a crowd. As soon as it made itself more apparent, um, it looked like it was glitching. Not like a computer pixelation, but like a wavy glitch. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause it right there because, so this is very similar to what another witness said that I covered in the last video. He basically said something along the lines of, it seemed as if it was going in and out, as if like you could see through it. So we're gonna have two different ones running. Yeah, we're gonna run two spirit boxes at once right now and see what responses we could get in regards to everything that's happened here. So you ready? You wanna ask the first question? Yeah, I'm gonna ask, what is the noises that we keep hearing all around us? Is it the security guard or is it something else? I don't know what that said. Is there anybody here with us right now? I am. It said I am. I heard that. Christmas. Oh, I thought it was. There's somebody walking towards us right now. Yeah. Buried. Oh, it said buried. It said buried. It didn't say it out loud, but it said buried. Did it just say alien? Is oh, that what that said? Replay that back on the footage. I almost positive it said alien. Okay, you got my mic on, right? Yes. All right. All right, I'm wearing a mic for Yasko's video. So we're going to have different videos here and there, so definitely check out his video. And vice versa. I thought I saw somebody walking up here. That just said buried as well. There is a shape shifter. There's a shape shifter. Oh my god. What the fuck? First thing it said. What? Yeah. Hold on. I want to confirm it said that. There is a shape shifter. Wow. Dude, that makes a lot of sense. And it sense. was literally right after I said I, I thought I saw someone. Yeah, you said you thought you saw someone. There is a shape shifter. Oh my god. What's your name, shapeshifter? Leave. I thought it said tell me, but I, I heard leave also. Only thing that sucks is there's like a loud noise coming from that machine right there. Yeah. It's probably like a cooling fan. Let's walk around over here. Still. Whoa. I swear I thought I heard something walking behind. It just said lies. What? Oh, lies. Is there any lies in regards to maybe the statements that came out? Yeah. About you or are you upset with what's being said about you? For example, like the whole alien talk, was that even real? Maybe, maybe this place is just haunted. It could you know be, saying? man. Anything could be haunted, I mean, in retrospect. So remember how... Wait. It said miracle. Miracle. Huh. Hmm. Can you clarify what you mean by that? I'm so confused. Confused, yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm having a hard time remembering what side was this portal on. Wait, 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 wait. Did that say this side? Describe. Describe, okay. Yeah, was it on this side or was it on this side? I know that it was up above that the gentleman saw the portal open and opening up. I did a spirit box on both sides. I can't remember which side I got the most interference. Is this the side where the portal opened up? No. What did it say? 
I doubt it. I, can't, I don't know what that said. It is. It is me? Where are you? Real. Okay. So it really that, did happen. That's good. Okay. Can you explain more about that night, January 1st? Are you still here with us? The thing is, man, like, let's think about this. If an alien were to show up here, right? like, what's the reason? Like, what's the reason for them wanting to be here in this in my precise area. location where a bunch Sam of people, Eagle. where a bunch of people can see them? You know? That's a good question. It's a very good question. I'm not ruling out the fact that there was probably some kids starting problems here, shooting off fireworks. It's very possible, man. Like, and maybe somebody called in like a gun deal. That's what I heard. The police too. took that really serious. I mean, I'm not ruling that out, but where did the whole alien stuff? The thing, the thing about the police, you heard the statement they said, right? Uh -huh. They said, there are no aliens at the Bayside Marketplace Mall at the moment. At the moment. That's what they said, yeah. word for word verbatim. That's what they said. So things like that, like I don't know if he was trying to be like funny and when he said that or, you know, people take that stuff out of context though. I took it pretty serious when he I said took that. it very seriously because like yeah. it's a serious matter. There's a hundred police cars. Right. There was a guy that changed up his story he said that he was here shopping at Foot Locker. Well, when I first got here, I was like, there's no Foot Locker here. There's okay. a freaking Foot Locker right across the way. Oh, you're right. And that guy was like, oh, I ain't never even been to Miami. He changed his whole story up. That's the one that I was reacting to as well. Right. He, so he said he was here at Foot Locker. He, he seen people running outside the store. So he came out and he heard what sounded like gunshots is what he said. But then he said he looked behind him and he saw these three black tall 10 foot tall he explained it figures that were and they were appearing and disappearing. disappearing so they were like glitching out essentially glitching out right that That's was one thing that people said in a lot of the witness statements that stayed constant mm -hmm. uh, these these figures appearing disappearing glitching out whatever it may be and they always said there was three everyone said three hey you know what's crazy there's three like foot locker mannequins over there <laughs> <laughs> Legit. Yeah, I didn't see a Foot Locker, so I was like, yeah, maybe that story was BS. Yeah. But it checks there's a out, Foot Locker. It checks out. And, and let me tell you, not every mall has a Foot Locker. Sometimes they might have a different shoe store. Champs. Yep. Rack Room. Did you hear that? I heard that. I thought maybe you leaned up against that and made a noise or something. No. Dude, there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras in these hallways. How come we only saw camera footage from like outside of the mall? We didn't see anything going on in here at all. Like if kids were shooting off fireworks and being Why really- Why didn't we see that? How come we didn't see it in here? Cause this is where it was happening, supposedly. Why is there no body cam footage by the way? Another thing, for as many cops that were here, you know they had some body cam footage. Like, Unless yeah, it's like come? an open investigation but that's the thing why would there be an open investigation if there's no aliens see this is what's driving people in a craze online is because there's too many red flags there's too many inconsistencies with the statements that are coming out from the police mm -hmm. uh the witnesses their statements seem pretty constant now i'm not sitting here saying you know tinfoil hat on saying that all of this stuff is real he legit wore a tinfoil hat the other i did day. <laughs> they didn't let me bring it through security at the airport but uh, nevertheless, I, I de definitely think, I get the feeling that something is off here, for sure. You know what I think would be great if we come back here to interview people with tinfoil hats on? I'm down. And we make them wear a tinfoil hat. Let's do it. We have like, <laughs> one for the, the interview, interviewee. But I don't know, then they might not take us serious. Because this is a serious matter. Like, we're no, it here is. trying to get some answers. That's why we're here. We're not here to blow smoke up your butt and tell you that, you know, there's an alien here and maybe have an alien appear out of one of these stores. I mean, 
I don't know, maybe you've seen that. I mean, sometimes things appear in some of these videos that we can't explain. Right. But we're ultimately here just to get some answers for y'all, you know? And hopefully we can. Wanna keep walking around? What? I hear that. It's like knocking. Bro, listen. It's... Where's that coming from? No one's in there. Right? It literally sounded like knocking. It was like a dunk, dunk, dunk. I heard yeah. it too. Weird. So we walked the perimeter of this entire mall marketplace and we were trying to find this area from this video. So this was basically saying that it was footage from the from inside of the Bayside Mall. And I have a lot of questions already. Okay, there's these tall black figures in the back that are coming towards the person recording. Why is there someone just crawling on the, on the floor? Which makes me think, first and foremost, that looks nothing like this. This is where it looks most like it could be. It's like right in this general area. Yeah, you're right, exactly. But it's not, that's, that's the problem. So that's why I think this is one of those like AI generated videos. I don't think this is 100%. from here. That's what I thought, yeah, because I can't find anything that looks remotely close. It's one thing I didn't really show in my video, were these palm trees here. But, I mean, that still doesn't look anything like it. No. Like that, you're right, that does look like these right here. These tall, long ones. However, Where's this blue stuff, though? That, see, that's the thing. Something's not adding up here. Yeah, no. Nah. So that's the thing about the internet, guys, is when something like this takes the internet by storm like it creates a lot of mass hysteria everyone kind of jumps on the bandwagon trying to get their own viral videos out and that seems to be the case with that one in particular because i'm telling you i don't think that's here nah but even if you hear some of the audio of it it's like it, it sounds weird it's right. almost like it was made up because you were like hey why are you walking that way and like people were walking towards these beings well it, i also want to show you that like just just watch it for a sec. Yeah. Why is it so blurry, grainy, shaky, zooming in? Like, yeah, it's just weird. hypothetically for a sec. Just hypothetically for one I've second. made AI videos, and that looks like it. If I'm recording a video. Yeah. Even if I'm shaking it. Yeah, it's not going to look it, that terrible. It still looks great. Like, yeah, sure, this is a newer iPhone, okay, but like, iPhone 6s have better quality than what the they hell we do. just watched. So, that's pretty terrible. That's the problem with this, man. That's the problem here. Um, but I do get the sense that there definitely something definitely did happen here. There's just, once again, too many red flags, not enough footage, not enough evidence. What I don't understand is like we were saying, there's, there's cameras literally everywhere. everywhere. How come there's no camera footage from inside of the mall? There's nothing. So that's weird. That's, that's Look, there's freaking cameras right up there. There's cameras everywhere. There's four in like if, a span of a foot. That's if what I there mean. was kids shooting off fireworks or causing some you would crazy get it in chaos. numerous numerous povs yeah you can't tell me that police just confiscated everything i was like you know what, what if they did though that's maybe why that's wanna, why there were so many police i want to ask some of these store owners even some of these kiosks have cameras i saw one yeah i saw an arlo camera on one of them yeah like why not ask one of these kiosks like hey do you have any footage of what happened See, think. that's the thing, man. It's... I think I saw it. It was over there, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I do want to say that make sure to subscribe, because like I said, we will be dropping these videos every couple of days, and we will be, you know, trying to get as much information as we can. We'll go to every single store if we have to. If we ask 100 people and 99 say no, at least we got one yes. Exactly. That's more footage than we had earlier today, you know? So. I'm surprised the security guard didn't want to clear up that information. Like, if if he cool, strongly no. believes, yeah, that there was no aliens here, like, why not go on camera and say it for the record? It was very short with us, too. Almost like he was angry. But at the same time, it's like, okay, what if the police, like, told him, you cannot say a word. Do not say a word. Okay. I, it's just the way he handled the question was a little off to me. It was weird. So... I want to cover some of the statements that I got from police officers or retired police officers.
So I want to give a big shout out to Bruce Shepard. Uh, this is actually from a former Ohio National Guard. That was a military level response. I've seen body camera footage of mass shootings where three or four officers responded. That looked like the entire Dade County police force was responding. It makes no sense. And I really do agree. I understand the severity of the situation, but I still think it's overkill on how many police officers were there. This next comment was from Angie Swinney, and they said, Hey Jazz, last year here in Hoover, Alabama, we had a shooting in our Galera Mall. The most officers they sent was 10, two fire trucks and an ambulance. There were people running, yelling, screaming, and we had several that were trampled. There were two shot. It turned out that the two that were shot were only angry with each other. People heard pop pop and it was on. No way the cops knew it was just those two. Why didn't Birmingham get called in? Why so few? So many were injured. Miami had way too many cops on the scene. Much love from Alabama. See, I very, very much agree, Angie. I think it was overkill with how much police officers were there. Now, there's obviously, there's a lot of statements and a lot of comments I did get that were saying things like, oh, well, it was um, reported as a shooting in the dispatch. Some people are saying it was just a fight in the dispatch. There's many different stories and there always will be in certain situations, especially like this. A lot of the statements that came out from the news channels and articles were that it was in regards to fireworks. So I want to touch up on another comment that I got. This one was from Heather. They said, coming from Massachusetts where fireworks are highly illegal, never have I ever, as the saying goes, have I seen 60 police cruisers deployed to a scene of teenagers causing panic with fireworks. This magnitude of response, plus the lack of fire and rescue vehicles and air traffic, halted blows my mind. Even if it was an alien intrusion, I do not think the aliens were armed or trying to cause panic. That's a movie like Independence Day. I describe aliens as to more of a Star Trek type alien. Now, to me, maybe we'll never know. I don't know, man. Like, what do you think so far of everything? I think, um, I think something did happen here. I just don't know what. And it's getting some weird vibes that like, something may still be here. I always feel like there's something following me. I, I genuinely, I keep hearing like footsteps behind me and then, oh damn, look at this. Whoa! Whoa! What the f*** was that? Bro, something like just hit the fucking window. Dude, a bird freaking probably ran into the, that's what it sounded this like. This is what it sounded like. It sounded like a bird hit the window or something. Okay, I really hope you guys heard that. Some partying going on. Yeah, holy shit, maybe someone. Okay. That's not here at the mall though. There's a, There's a club. Yeah, it's a hard rock. Yeah, right there. So we're sitting out here in front of where the alien sighting occurred. We have a REM pod out right there. We have a couple of spear boxes running, hopefully to see if we can get some responses. Because at the end of the day, aliens, they're extraterrestrial, they're paranormal. You, they could use their energy just like spirits could, right? Oh yeah. So hopefully, if there's anything out there that likes to communicate with us, can come forward and do so. Maybe prepare us for what's about to come because just, just I feel like things are just happening by the day. There's something new is coming out. You, you just told me about some new meeting that. There was a new congressional meeting that happened literally just a couple days ago. And it's kind of weird that it happened just a couple days after what happened here in Miami. So, I mean, it's almost like they're trying to prepare us more and more. <laughs> open your mind. Literally just said, open your mind. All right. Um, you know, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Total Recall. It's like the little baby like coming out of the guy's chest. And he's like, open your mind. <laughs> After walking throughout the entire place, I genuinely had like a sense of... I was just very uncomfortable. It was a very, very weird feeling, but... Be careful. Be careful. Open your mind, be careful. Okay, just so we could get some more response in a quicker sense, I'm gonna fire up Necrophonic as well, so yeah, I'm gonna go start for it. this. What should we be careful for? Are you trying to warn us of something that's about to happen?
I just wonder why, because one thing I noticed, Omar, this isn't the entrance to the mall right here, but in this particular area, there was numerous police cars parked like right on these pavers. Tunnel. And this is where the sighting of the alien happened. Is that not weird? Why would this car right here... What the fuck was that? I don't know. I heard something. You heard that though? Yeah. It just said growl. Oh, wow. Well, there's a man going through the trash over there. But this... That's not what we heard though. <laughs> okay. Can, can you tell us what we should be careful of? Aliens are here. Aliens are here? No. <gasps> okay. I thought that said that. Is there anything else that you want to... Okay, portal oh. here. Portal here. Is that what that said? Portal here. Oh. Where's the portal? Dude, I've never heard that say that. I've heard it say things like portal, you know, there is a portal, portal in the room or something like that, but. Wow. You know that there is a town that's very close to here. You know what the name of it is? El Portal. Really? Yeah, like the portal. And supposedly it's a really old town here in Miami. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can you tell us a little bit about the statements that were made from police? Lies spread. Lies spread. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my God. Lies spread. Okay, I'm not saying, this said it, not me. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah. Okay, so tonight we got, there's a shapeshifter, aliens are here, lies, portal. That just said leave too. Why do you want us to leave? Or did you leave? No. Are you still here in Miami? Gone. Dude, I don't know what it is. I have such like an uncomfortable feeling right now. Let me know what you guys think about some of the responses we've gotten so far. I think they're interesting, for sure. Pretty pinpoint. But it could be something demonic, like messing with us too. Yeah, we had that conversation earlier that some people were, you know, explaining it as, you know, it was, it could be demonic. Cause it, in a sense it could be spiritual, but from what we're getting, I mean, aliens are here. All right, we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna be back here tomorrow. Is there one, anything you wanna say to us before we leave? Did that say jazz? I said my name. Should the world be worried? Very. Worried. Is it, did it say, I thought it said worried. It said very. I don't fucking know. Regardless. It responded to you, man. Okay. Thank you very much for communicating. Yeah, I Goodbye. wasn't sure if it said very or worried. Whoa. Whatever that just said didn't sound very friendly. No. All right. Listen, it's it's 2.57 in the morning. I'm beat right now. These these responses are freaking me the hell out. You should tell them where you're going to be showing your next video, though. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and break yeah. the news. We're actually staying in one of the condos that lost power during the whole alien inv invasion, the so-called alien invasion. Well, that's, that's another red flag, man. It's like, why? If it was a fight inside of the mall, why did at the same time parts of the neighborhood lose power? I don't know. I know that there was like a TikTok of a girl on the side of this condo right here. And she lived in one of the side floors right over there. And she was filming and she also mentioned how she had lost power. 
Hmm. And she filmed like some of the kids freaking out and running that way. You know what? How about we go head up there really quick? Okay. And show you guys around. Let's do it. And give you guys a little uh, taste of what to expect the next coming videos. See you guys there. So we just made it to the room and right down here is the mall. That's where we just were right there. And this is where we're going to be for the weekend. So we're going to be filming all sorts of videos, trying to get down to whatever the hell's going on out here. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my friend Omar's channel out as well. And uh, we'll see you guys very shortly. We'll be dropping these videos pretty quickly. So see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think so far of everything. Let me know what your thoughts on just all things aliens, all things Bayside Marketplace, all things regard to the police. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.